Hey guys, I'm Skystorm. This is Timberborn Update 5. And for this playthrough, we're going with the Iron Teeth on the hardest settings. And I'm going to pick the Lakes map because that's going to make life really interesting. So let's start off by having a little look at the map. Half of this map is uh, a beautiful forest wilderness with uh, fertile land and loads of water. And the other half is a toxic nightmare <laughs> hellhole. We've got one clean water source on the map, which flows through a series of lakes and eventually goes off the map. And we've got three polluted toxic water sources, which join up with the clean water and pollute it about halfway down on both sides of the map. Now, if you're thinking, well, simple just stay in the nice side of the map and everything will be good oh no in a very short space of time we're going to start getting bad tides which turn beautiful clean water sources into toxic sludge which floods through our river system and kills literally everything in its path it's nightmarish Okay, let's do this. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to get going. I have done some planning and I've laid in some paths all over the place. Uh, I am adopting a very, very high risk strategy. Uh, this could go badly wrong or it could be really good. Let's start off with throwing in some lumberjacks because unless we've got wood, we won't have anything. I want to be able to get both sets of trees. Let's see, I'm going to put in one lumberjack there and I'm going to put in another lumberjack down here so we can reach all the trees right to the end and then we've got some more trees down here so i think we'll throw in a lumberjack there that'll do okay that gives us wood we also need water deep water pump and that just slots in right there okay awesome the third thing we need is food and we're going to start off with berries we've got a nice patch of berries here food gather a flag and that can just go in right there I'm going to crank up the builders to four initially, but we'll we'll soon drop that down. Okay, uh, storage. Let's get some storage going. What do we want? We want a small tank so we can store some water. Uh, oh, that'll pop there. Okay, good. That'll go in there. And then we want to store our berries, don't we? So a small warehouse. Flip that around. That can go in there. Okay, awesome. Uh, what about wood storage? That's a very good point. Let's get a small industrial pile. We'll have a small industrial pile there and a small industrial pile. Um, do they share one, maybe? I think maybe they, maybe they share one. Yeah, go on, we'll share one. What are they? I, I, yes, we are cutting down trees. No, apparently we're gently massaging trees. Look at this picture. Look, it's just like, <laughs> oh, hello, little tree. And then, and then the tree dies. He's massaged it to death. Look, he's doing it. Look, he's doing it again. He's being snake. He's hiding behind this little tree. So don't look at what I'm doing. <laughs> well, either he's massaging the tree or he's doing something very untoward. <laughs> like you're supposed to be working. Stop it. Good lord, these beavers. Uh, right. Well, look at this. We're bringing in wood. We're starting to get stuff done. Right. I should do a bit of prioritisation. We need to prioritise the deep water pump, and we'll prioritise it as a workplace as well. Uh, we'll do the same thing with the gatherer flag. Prioritise that as a workplace. Um, what else is really important? This is really important. So let's see. That's one, two, three. That's four. That's five. Right. Oh, cycle one, day one, a new adventure. And we're already off and running. We have got eight adults and four kits. Those kits need to grow up quick because, boy, do we need more people more beavers we need more workers um so i said five didn't i yeah so that means let's drop the workers down by one and right we're so now we're finally balanced i'm kind of thinking to the future this is going to be a temporary location we're actually going to be moving north uh, like as quickly as we possibly can the long-term strategy this is the risky strategy i'm going to dam across here I'm going to dam across here and then I'm going to put floodgates across this area here. That should completely isolate this lake and create a great big area which is immune to the bad tides. If I can do it, oh boy, we win big. If I can't get all of those created and built before the first bad tide hits, oh man, are we in trouble. 
Well, we've got the first pump built. Right, it's time to put in our first dam. Now, our first dam is just a temporary dam to get us through the first couple of droughts. And I'm going to dam across here. Now, I was thinking of damming down here, but I think doing it up here will be better um, from a productivity perspective. And, and we should have enough water. God, I hope we're going to have enough water. This could be another big mistake. Let's throw in some dams. Right, let's have a path going across there. Now, yeah, so the, the, the weird iron teeth breeding method, they use breeding pods. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's very logical. What you do is you take some blueberries and some water and you put it in a vat and you get babies. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? So uh, housing and breeding pod. I'm thinking to go for three. One, two. I'm, I, am I? Two would give us a population of... At l should give us a population of at least... 16 beavers so i think i'm gonna go for a third one yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna risk it and go for a third one how much do they actually cost 10 logs each good good oh man i'm gonna need so much wood to do all of this so we'll, we'll pop in a campfire over there i'm gonna make that a slightly lower priority the barracks we'll throw the barracks in i think we'll throw the barracks in there yeah we'll throw the barracks in there We'll have uh, we'll have a couple of paths going on. Oh man, I'm giving them so much to do. Um, okay, they've had it easy so far. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Let's crank it up to a 20-hour work day. <laughs> Get to work, you bunch of slackers. Okay, we've got uh, we've got our small tank. We've got water storage. We've got berry storage. Oh, we've got berries. We've got blueberries. They're starting to stack up. Well, that is really, really good news. How are we getting on with the dam? Oh, they've actually built the first piece. You know what? I'm going to prioritise the second piece then. Um, these these baby beavers need to grow grow up faster. We've got one. So we've now got nine. So I've actually got a beaver not doing anything. Why don't I add an extra worker? That's not a bad idea. Okay, I need to start thinking about science, don't I? Yeah, yeah, you really do, Sky. All right. Let's get an inventor put in. Now, where on earth am I going to put... Well, I've got a, I've got a little bit of space there. Maybe, maybe I throw it in there. Do it. Go for it. How important is that? Um, I mean, long term, it's staggeringly, staggeringly important. Short term, not so much. So maybe I set that as a lower priority. Uh, getting, the, getting the breeding pods up, getting the barracks built I thought, there's so many there's so many things to build and so many things to focus on how are we doing with the dam oh they're getting on with the third one let's prioritize that i i am i'm always nervous about the first drought if you can get through the first drought then you've got a you've got a, a pretty good chance of survival even if other things go wrong oh and there you go we get well we get minimum days on our wet season and the drought's coming in in three days. So, we, well, yeah, it's a good job I prioritised this. Boy, we need to get this finished. Okay, we're up to 11 of 20 logs. Come on, guys. Oh, more logs coming. Okay, well, the, the wood's coming in at a decent pace. How we do? Oh, man, we are getting through these trees pretty damn quickly. Now, once we get across the river, we will have access to these trees as well. But this is why we need to head north. We need to get this dam built so that we've got access to these trees. These are lovely oak trees, which will give us eight logs rather than the, the pine trees give us two logs and the birch trees only give us one log. So, yeah, if we can get across the river to there, but that dam wouldn't help us in terms of retaining any water. So that's why we have to get this dam built first. How we do? OK, we're starting on the fourth one. Let's prioritise that again. You know what? I'm going to prioritise the fifth one as well. Where are we? Two and a half days. Can we get it done? And we've got our first breeding pod. I was just waiting for the fourth dam section. There's, and there's the fourth dam section. I've already prioritised the fifth. We've got our first breeding pod. So they throw in two berries, uh, two berries and two water. And and we start breeding. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Like, yeah, OK, fine. Yeah, that's that's how that works, apparently. That's how you get beavers, blueberries and water. I must try that. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go to the supermarket. We'll get some blueberries. <laughs> see, if we, see if we can grow some baby beavers. I, something tells me it's not going to work. 
So people are still sleeping outdoors. Should I, at this point, prioritize the barracks? No, Sky, you should get the dam completed because you've only got 1.9 days left. Oh, come on, we, we can do this. Are we running out of trees? We've still got a few trees down there. We have, we've still got a few trees up here and still got a few trees up here. So that seems to be working out. We've got all of our storages built and assigned. Man, you know, things, things seem to be going reasonably okay. That's shocking. We must be close to getting this built, mustn't we? We've got two beavers sitting around doing nothing. I think we need to give them something to do. Now, oh, we've, oh, now I can give them something to do because we finished the dam. Oh, and there was much rejoicing. Okay, so we are going to survive the first drought because there's a little step up here. So this creates a, a, a natural little reservoir and that should be enough water to get us through, um, to get us through a drought. God, I hope so. Uh, I'm so, well, let's do it, let's do it. Don't, don't talk about it, let's go and do it. What, uh, what are we gonna do? It's <laughs> a good question. I'm gonna throw in a gatherer flag over here and you'll see that we can just get to all of the berries on this side. Uh, let's get that prioritized as a construction site and also a, as a workplace. Also, we can get to these trees. How about you set up a lumberjack sky and stop yapping? That's a very, very good idea. Let's extend this path down to, I don't know, to there, that'll do, and throw in another lumberjack. So we had two extra workers who weren't doing anything, and uh, no, now we're down to, no, no, we don't have an extra worker to work as a lumberjack. This kit needs to grow up. Okay, but, we, oh, that's where the, that's where the extra guy went. We've got a scientist, woohoo. Now I'm gonna prioritize the workplace. We, uh, we want science. We've actually got six science. Yay, we've won the game. <laughs> Seven, good Lord. <laughs> we are going to need, in order to complete my grand strategy, which I'm, all, I'm seriously, I'm thinking is gonna be a grand failure at this point, because we're, we're almost at the first drought. On normal mode, this would be this would be pretty easy because the way bad tides work, on normal mode, you're guaranteed three droughts. So you'll have wet season drought, wet season drought, wet season drought for sure. And then you'll get wet season and then either a drought or a bad tide. And, it, and then it carries on like that. So wet season and then either a drought or a bad, a bad tide, wet season. On hard mode, you only get one drought, and then it's a coin flip. Do you get bad tides or do you get droughts? If we get a drought, if we get two droughts, we'll, we should be fine. If we only get one and then we get a bad tide, I think we're screwed. <laughs> but, oh man, keep your fingers crossed that we get at least two droughts. Well, the drought has hit and the river's drying up. Yeah, it's all drying up. But we've got a nice little patch of water, which is nicely irrigating our berries up here, which is great. And this hasn't dried up yet, but it will. The, um, there was a new patch that came out yesterday and they, they, changed, they changed a whole bunch of things. One of the things they changed was that the, the bad water sources, they added a visual so that you can see them better. When, uh, when there's water on top of them, there's a, there's a, like a graphic. Oh, we've just hit well-being three. Wow. I'm thinking that means our, our barracks just got built. We'll go and check that in a second. But the change that they made was uh, that the, the, the bad water sources used to run during the drought. And now they don't. They stop. Which, um, which is actually pretty good news, I think, on a lot of maps. We've got all three of our breeding pods going. That's really good news. We've got, uh, we've got a full stock of berries. That's really good news. Okay, so there's the barracks. The barracks is built. Science, we're up to 43 science now. Wow. And we're up to three well-being. Awesome. And the campfire's been built and they're using the campfire. Good heavens. We're actually making some progress. Okay, I need to get on with the next phase. The next phase is to start heading north. So let's get some, uh, let's get some more dams built. We'll have dams going across here. And I want a dam across here. Why do you want a dam across here? Sky, there's a barrier there. Yeah, it's because it's the only way we can get across. So we're just going to throw a dam in. Um, so I want, uh, I want, we'll pop a couple of paths on top of that. One there, one there. Okay. 
We're uh, we're running low on logs. We've got we've got forty four logs in stock, but this area is exhausted. This area is exhausted of adult trees. This area is exhausted. I think we maybe put in another lumberjack in this area. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's get a lumberjack flag. Flip it around. Boom! In it goes. Let's prioritize that. Let's prioritize working there and prioritize working there for now. Uh, you, you know what? I'm going to pause you. You can go and work over there. That gives us one spare beaver. Let's get another scientist going, I think. How are we doing with these? Oh, oh, we're going to get a new beaver any any minute. Let's get, let's get the other scientist put in. So, scientist. Another scientist going in there. Should I prioritize that? Mm, you know what? Yes, and prioritize working there as well. Oh, I want to. See, I want to see this baby beaver. That's the baby beaver, Jalvad. Hooray! A name that I can pronounce. <laughs> but we're gonna. We're gonna change. We're gonna change that. I'm gonna keep Jalvad. But it's gonna be Jalvad, the firstborn. Jalvad, the firstborn, first of his line, king of the Andals. <laughs> oh yes. Oh. He's, he's very cute as well. Look how tiny he is. He's so he, tiny. He's so tiny. Aww. Hopping around, having the <laughs> having a whale of a time, getting into trouble, getting into narrow scrapes <laughs> over uh, over a five pound note and a bottle of ginger beer. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I can afford to think about doing planks. I'm going to do planks. Picture, I'm going to do planks. <laughs> you do are, are you excited about that? <laughs> I'm very, very excited about the whole prospect of doing planks. Industrial lumber mill. Shall I put it? Shall I put it? Over? I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put it there, and then now this employs two workers, uh, but I only want one guy working there. And then uh, you need to power it, Sky. Oh, I'm glad you reminded me because I would probably have forgotten. <laughs> let's uh, let's throw a power wheel in there and link it up with a path, which is the other thing that I always forget. Okay, so we now have no vacancies and no unemployed beavers. We have a second scientist going. Wow. Oh, look, we're at 67 science. We need 70 science in order to unlock stairs. You're sitting there doing nothing because there's no berries to gather here. There's no berries to gather here. Um, we have got this done. There are berries up here, which could be back. I'm going to put in another gatherer up here. Oh, yes, I am. Gather a flag going in. It doesn't matter. Just, just put it anywhere, Sky. Prioritize that. Make it a high priority workplace. Come back over here. And who? 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 You. Let's pause you. No, not you. We're going to pause the workplace. You can't pause beavers. How would you do that? Like with a defibrillator and just like stop their heart. I've paused the beaver. No, that, that's a very bad idea. How are we doing? We've got... Um, Okay, so we've had two more. Yes, we've had two more babies born. So we've now got three kits. Wow, we're up to 15 beavers. Good Lord. It's day one of cycle two, and we're into the wet season. Where's the water? Here comes the water. Bringing with it fertility and greenness. Is that even a word? Greenness? It is now. It is now. <laughs> See, this is why I keep you around. Well done. <laughs> well done. All we need is for somebody to build this. Yes, do it, do it, do it, do it. Boom. Okay, that gives us access to this wood up here, which is awesome. I'm going to throw in two lumberjacks up there. Uh, and I'm going to prioritise everything about them. These are very, very important. And then I think... Okay, we've exhausted this area. So pause this lumberjack pause this lumberjack okay good Whoa, we I think we need more berries well I think radical action is required in order to avoid us like imminently starving which I, I'm, I'm shocked by but it is what it is um, so what we'll do we'll come over here uh, pause I'm gonna unlock because we've got 116 sides now I'm gonna unlock Wooden stairs. Yay! And there was much rejoicing. I'm going to throw stairs in there. And then we'll put a path like that. Now, are you from there? We, I, mm, we won't know. We won't know until we get those stairs built. 
Let's prioritise the hell out of those stairs. There's some frantic tree massaging going on, trying to get these trees to, um, I don't know, maybe they relax to death. <laughs> if, you, if you relax the trees enough, they just, nah, they just croak. <laughs> they're, they're, but it's working, it's working. Mm, nice tree, nice tree. Massage, massage. And then, boom, it dies. <laughs> uh, this power wheel would get built faster if I unpaused it. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, we didn't have the logs for it anyway, so uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't actually holding us back. But we've, now we've got the logs, so we're just waiting on the builders to come, and we need seven more logs. Is it time, is it time to unpause this building? No, Sky. Wait. <laughs> have some patience for once. We need four more logs. If we can get some planks starting to be produced, then we can really move into the final phase, which, which we need to do. We're on cycle two, day two, and we need to get going. That's our 40 logs. Awesome. Somebody can build it. It's built. We've got somebody working there, in which case we need somebody working here. Unpause the lumber mill. Uh, I've, I've reduced it to one worker, so that's good. Right, we are short precisely two people. I've prioritised that, I've prioritised that. Where, where would we take those two people from? That's a very, very good point. Uh, we'll reduce the builders to one. That gives me one extra. So uh, maybe we just run with two builders then. Okay, we run with two builders. And look, we're producing planks. Yes. And yes. Yep, picture. <laughs> Success. We have a drought. Whew, if that had been a bad tide, bear in mind that we've got 2.8 days to build. I need to build a dam over here and I need to put floodgates across here. Um, there's no way <laughs> that I, if that had been a bad tide, oh boy, I would have been in so much trouble. Okay, right. So all we've got to do is stay alive. How are we doing? We've got two planks. We need two more. Got a lot of hungry beavers. Oh no! Oh no! Two of our beavers died of hunger. Okay, that's that's really not good. That's that's like really not good. Okay, we still need two planks. Uh, now I'm guessing that that means we've got no. We okay. <laughs> the two beavers that died were the builders. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to suspend. I'm going to pause the inventors. See now. There's an argument to say that I should have built a farm, but I was trying not to. I was desperately trying not to build a farm. Uh, yeah, that's that plan has not worked out particularly well. Do we have more beavers? We, we do have more beavers coming along, and we've got four beavers ready to grow up. If um, oh right, we, we've got access. No, we haven't. Almost. Yes, we've got access. Hooray. Now, can you can you reach them? Okay, you can reach a couple of them. We we need to move you then. Which means you won't be able to access down there. Uh, okay, what I'll do, I'll put in an extra gatherer post up here, which can reach those. Yes. Oh, look. Jalvad the firstborn has grown up. Oh, our first homegrown beaver has become an adult. Oh, it's a proud day, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, oh, and another one's grown up. Hooray. So that's just replaced the two that we lost. So we've actually got one beaver who's not doing anything. I guess we get a scientist going again. Yeah, well, let's get, let's get, a, let's get a scientist going. You know, I'm really tempted to... Okay, this guy's got an unpronounceable name. So how about we call him Bill Nye? Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> yes. Who, who, who works at the science place? It's Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to do more naming throughout this series, don't I? Okay, let's um, let's have a bit of a recap on where we are then. So we have got uh, we've got eleven berries in stock. We've got plenty of water in stock, so that's good. We've got uh, eighty three logs, which is actually awesome. That's really good news. Right, we can we can move on to the to the, the final phase of the plan then. Let's get uh, let's get dams put across here. And we want a staircase going down like that. That will allow them to get to that. And then we'll finish that off with a path. 
Okay, that's gonna dam the, the flow of the water out of this lake. We've already dammed this side. So that just leaves this bit up here. How are you gonna do this, Sky? Well, I can't actually show you until we get a little bit more science, but we're gonna have a staircase going down here and then we're gonna have floodgates going across here. But we need, uh, what, we need like another 10 science, I think. We're at 149 science, we need one more. Come on, beavers. Come on, beavers, give us that extra science. 150, boom. Right, floodgate, uh, unlock it, yes. Right, so the floodgates are gonna go across here like this. Uh, one, two, three, four. That is, now, I could do it with three floodgates here. The problem is the bad water would kind of collect here and we want the bad water to be washed away when the, when the clean water starts so that we can open these floodgates and let water into our lake. So I think that is the, you know, um, you know what? I'm tempted to move them. I'm gonna move them. I'm gonna move them. I'm actually gonna move them one square forward. Is that a good, I think that's actually a good idea. Yeah. The further forward they are, the, the closer they're gonna to be to the main flow of the river and the, the quicker the, the, the bad water, the toxic water will be taken away. So that's actually, God, it's not very often I have a good idea. It's, um, it's kind of refreshing when it happens. Which way round do I want these? It doesn't matter, Sky. Okay, let's put them in, let's put them in like that. Yeah, that's better. Okay, good. Go, go, go. Um, we now have all the science that we need so I can turn this, well, I could turn that scientist off, but in actual fact, we've got enough beavers, haven't we? I, I tell you what I can do then, I can add a second worker at the industrial lumber mill. Let's see how they're getting on over here. They've built the first dam, that's great. And they've started work on the stairs. Here come some planks. Oh, this is very good news. This is very good news. So that's the four planks, so they can build the stairs. So that means they can finish this dam. That's excellent. Right, what about over here? Oh, I didn't put these stairs in. Oh no. Right, let's put those stairs in. Uh, th that's a priority, that needs to happen ASAP. We've got three days left of this drought. Then we've got, what, six or seven days. So we've got about 10 days to get this finished. Man, we've got 10 days to get all of this finished. That, we're up against the wire. We are right against the wire on this one. Is it even, is it even doable? Well, the drought is over. That's the good news. The bad news is the water just dried up in our little tiny reservoir. Uh, so, and we've got no food and we've got no berries coming in. Uh, and we've got hungry beavers. <laughs> yeah, this is not going so well. All right. Um, the, fortunately, the, the, the water's going to get here fairly soon. God, I hope some berries come through quickly. Uh, let's speed it up because until we get the water, there's kind of nothing that we can do. Uh, we haven't had anybody die of hunger yet. Right, the water, the water is arriving. Are there any berries to harvest? No. Oh, we better hope some berries pop through soon. What about up here? Are there any berries up here, maybe? No, no berries up there. Oh, what about down the bottom? Any berries? Any berries down here? No, no berries. We are living in a berry-free zone. That's 78%. I mean, there's quite a few, 85%. There's quite a few coming through soonish. Oh, 88, 87 Oh, but hang on, beavers. Yeah, there's quite a lot. Oh, we've got we've got berries. We've got some berries. Quick, quick, go and harvest those berries. And there's berries right there. Okay. Oh, it's oh, we've had we've just had somebody die of hunger. Jill Jin, he couldn't make it. He couldn't hang on. There were berries. There were berries seconds away. Jill Jin. Poor guy. Um, yeah. So how are we doing with the dams? We are. Still halfway there on this dam. Oh, no, no, no. We've got the third one done. So we're working on the fourth. Oh, wow. This is this has just got to be completed. Come on, builders. 
get over here and finish this damn is it highest priority it should be it should be set to highest priority yes it is highest priority somebody get over and build it how are we doing over here right we've got both staircases built so they should now be working on these uh they haven't done anything on that one or that one or that one or that one yet so they must have just finished this staircase oh wow we've got uh, we've had a couple of kids grow up so we're still at 12 adults <laughs> fortunately they're growing up as fast as i'm killing them off <laughs> like just okay we've got a good news bad news situation we've lost two beavers they've died of hunger um the good news is that that means we need less food moving forward <laughs> you know you've got it i'm a glass half full kind of guy what can i say we have got our first floodgate built are they are they working on the others uh yes we've got the planks for this one okay oh we have got a bad tide coming in in three days okay pause 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 we have got three days to get these three built oh is that even possible let's turn off the lumberjacks that gives me another couple okay we've got we've got three guys potentially free so okay that is our four builders okay with four builders we've got um we've got planks well we've got we've got 12 planks but i think 12 planks is enough isn't it to get this done uh let's see uh we've already got the planks for that so we need five and five okay so we've got 10 planks we've got enough planks we've got enough logs so it's literally just the case of getting them delivered and built in 2.7 days thirsty hungry like incredibly tired beavers can they can they get it done can they get it done that's the third one in the last one five planks 10 logs come on guys you can do it the last two planks are getting deli delivered and it's built it's built we did it oh man and we had half a day to spare oh it wasn't even close <laughs> i am i am shocked and amazed that we managed to get that done in time wow okay um half a day uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna pause the game just for a second because um the bad tide is going to rip through here and it's going to kill our major food supply which is a big problem uh it's also going to make our drinking water unavailable so there's some stuff that we need to build and we need to build quickly food and water all i need to worry about right now is food and water so water i'm going to throw a deep water pump in and you know what i'm going to get rid of that and i'm going to put the deep water pump in there that needs to be top priority get that done okay then food sources uh we've got the some berries there that we can pick that's really good news there is a nice big berry patch up here so how about we get um gather a flag and throw in a gather a flag up there and then there's another berry patch down here which looks very tempting that would cover that covers all of it so we'll have a gatherer flag going in down there let's prioritize that uh both getting it built and as a workplace we'll do the same with this one uh it's too far from a district oh we need well we need some stairs there okay well there you go we need stairs in there and get those built as a priority right let's get the uh, let's get the demolish tool i'm going to rip those out we've got 0.2 of a day and you need to get the hell out of here so no i'm going to demolish that demolish that go get the beavers out of there because this dam needs to be demolished now how many of you are sitting there screaming at the screen going it's, it's point one of a day and he hasn't put the floodgates up yeah i know <laughs> i am well aware let's get up here let's raise these floodgates uh i'm gonna pause it while i do this because i'm not no that's paused uh i'm gonna pause it because i've got they're not synchronized because they're not side by side so i've got to do each one of these individually which is i've got to say like kind of annoying so i may end up putting 
three behind them so that I can just do it with, with one click rather than having to do them all individually. Um, right. Double check them, Sky. That's one. That's one. That's one. Yeah, they're all at height one. Okay. Let's, let's see. Hooray! And is the water flooding? No, it's not. No, it's not. Good. Okay. And... Oh, the bad tide. Any Here it is. The bad tide has arrived. Oh, it is brutal, isn't it? Look, it's just it just kills everything. You know what? I'm going to slow it down a little bit. How long? So they're they're contaminated. It's going to die in point one of a day. I mean, it kills things so quickly. Oh, it's already into um, what should we call this? Kidney Lake. It's kind of shaped like a kidney. Okay, it might have a cancerous tumor, but I mean it's a kidney. Like, so we've got we've got cancerous kidney lake, and then it comes down here. I'm not going to name this. I'm sure some of you will come up with some ideas. Some of the less savoury of you. Um, oh look, it's it's nasty, isn't it? Right. I need to get rid of this dam. Um, there is stuff over here, but. We're going to lose it, unfortunately, which is a damn shame. Six, I could, I could use those six berries. But you know what? We'll manage. We'll manage somehow. Here comes the bad water. I need to get rid of this dam. Demolish it. Boom. Now, what happens with, uh, with water pumps is they will carry on pumping uh, and they will produce clean water, but they produce it as a, at a reduced rate. And when it gets too contaminated, like, uh, is it too contaminated now? No. When it gets too contaminated, they it stops pumping completely. So it's pretty darned important. Oh, that we get another pump. Hooray. Okay. At that point, we switch this off. Oh, good grief. Look at, look at the sheer devastation. And... All of our food sources over here. Look, they're dying. These things die virtually instantly. Look at the corruption. Oh, no. And any beavers that go over here into this um, corrupted, contaminated area uh, will get sick. So we want to stop them coming over here. So uh, I'm going to demolish this water tank, I think. Yeah, demolish the water tank and demolish the pump as well. Demolish the pump? Yeah, demolish the pump. Yeah, demolish the pump. Now, there is some water and some lumber. They can come and get that. And as long as they don't spend too long in there, they should be okay. And there are ways to decontaminate them. But that's, um, that's a problem for the future. Right now, I need to get this gatherer flag turned on so we can get some food coming in. I need some food storage. Uh, we need to... Oh, now, what's what's up with you? Nothing to do in range. Um, oh, I put it, I put in a lumberjack flag. <laughs> what a bonehead. Let's try that again. Uh, so, oh, I'm such a loon. What a prize zucchini I really am. Um, so, construction site, let's get, <laughs> let's get that done quick. I did it up here as well, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I built a blooming lumberjack flag. Oh, they're probably all going to die now. <laughs> Uh, I did exactly the right thing in exactly the wrong way. Okay, uh, let's get that prioritized. Oh, man. Okay, well, food, probably going to be an issue. And if you want to see whether we can survive, you're going to have to come back for the next episode. Wow, what an exciting episode one that was. Right down to the wire. Well... Oh, and we need to get all of this stuff moved. Next episode, we're going to be moving to a new base away from the horrible bad tide. If you want to see it, come back for the next one. Picture, do you want to say goodbye? Bye. We'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.